USC ranked 20th comes to Seattle, takes down number four Washington at Husky Stadium with Bill Plaschke and Zach Helfand. I'm Lindsay Theory for the Los Angeles Times. Bill, six straight games. We predicted that the Trojans would defeat the Huskies. I think we were the only ones in the I entire called, country yes, that did that. Right on this video last week, we yeah. said it would, and you know what? It was easier than I thought it was going to be. They won by 13 points. It felt like 33 points. Jake Browning, Heisman, Hopeful, cancel trip to New York, buddy. You're out of it. They 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 pounded Jake Browning. The, the offense, the USC offense, Sam Darnold, again, continues to be a revelation. Uh, Clay Helton, my man Clay Helton, who told you to hire Clay Helton? Who told you to hire Clay Helton? Everybody loves Clay Helton now. First time they've won six games since Pete Carroll was here in 2008. Right now, USC is playing as well as any of the great teams in the country. They'd be, they'd be feared by, except for Alabama, of course, any other team, they'd be within a touchdown. Uh, either way, they'd be feared. USC really playing as well as I've seen him play in a long, long time. Bill, I'll give it to you. You stuck by Clay Helton while the rest of us got very down there for a few games early on this season. Zach, it was incredible to watch USC's defense. I think we've come to know what to expect on offense, but defensively, the Huskies couldn't get anything going. 17 yards rushing is what they were held to. 17 yards. This is the best rushing team in the Pac-12. USC did it last week when Oregon was the best rushing team in the Pac-12 until USC dragged their stats down enough. Clancy Pendergast has his defense playing really well. Clay Helton said this last week. He said it, it feels like USC's defensive line, which, which was the weak point mm -hmm. coming into the season, feels like they're playing in other teams' backfields. Stevie Tuikolovatu on a bum knee was getting five-yard pushes every play, and, and Jake Browning just had no time back there. Bill, this is now a three-loss USC team that's won six in a row. They've made it tough on themselves because of how they started the season, but where can this team go? Well, first off, if this were college basketball, they'd be played into a one seed. In college basketball, they don't look at the November games mm -hmm. when in March. So this 46-point this loss to Alabama, that was like, it felt like a year ago. Mm -hmm. USC right now, but they, they cannot get into CFP because they've lost three games. Nobody's ever done that before, but they can get into the Rose Bowl. And I'm not exactly sure how. It's a little complicated. Zach has it simplified. But USC can get into the Rose Bowl. They belong in the Rose Bowl. They can get there. How can they do it, Zach? Keep it simple for us. Very simple. Maybe not likely, but, but pretty simple. USC needs to beat UCLA next week. Mm -hmm. They need Colorado to lose, and they need Utah to lose. And the good news for USC is that both those teams play each other at the end of the year. So one of them is guaranteed a loss. They just need one of the other teams to lose another time. Bill, USC is always a dangerous team. That's why we predicted this. Can you declare that USC is back? Yeah, in the column in the LA Times that you'll read underneath this video, it says, and I feel this, USC is USC again. It's the first time they felt like this. And again, it's the first big it's the first big win like this on the road. This felt a little bit like the Bush push game against Notre Dame many years, what, 10, 10 to 15 years ago, whatever it was. I know it wasn't the stakes weren't that high. This hostile environment dark, cold, fans going crazy, you couldn't hear yourself think, and they come out of here and swagger with a victory. This is the old USC again, Lindsay. And coming out of the locker room, younger guys said that this was obviously the best win they've ever experienced. A few, they had to compare it to that upset over Stanford when fans rushed the field and they hoisted Ed Orgeron back up on their shoulders. That will do it for us from Husky Stadium with Bill and Zach. I'm Lindsay for the LA Times. We'll see you back in LA when USC and UCLA play at the Rose Bowl next week.